Hello, boys and girls. Now, uh, I'm going to be reviewing uh, Tales from the Crypt Demon Knight. So, uh, to uh, best... You know what? I'm moving out of here, and uh, I had a big-ass Tales from the Crypt Demon Knight poster on my ceiling. And uh, instead of... I have folded it up and put it away. Instead of showing you that, I'm showing you Family Dog from uh, Tim Burton, because I kind of want to watch Dark Shadow soon. I've been watching the... Uh, the TV show more than the uh, the movie. This was uh, why did I bring him up? Because he first appeared in the anthology series Amazing Stories, animation by Brad Bird, story by Tim Burton, designs by um, I'm fairly certain it's one of uh, they say Tim Burton, but um, I'm fairly certain it's one of uh, Brad Bird's regular that he used on Incredibles and now probably is working on Pixar and uh, all his other work. So here we go. Alright, um, Tales from the Crypt is, uh, a one-off story of, uh, well, actually what I want to get to is, first off, the 90s was pretty much known for, uh, independent films and kind of these pretentious kind of er era kind of films, so when it came to horror, it was kind of, uh, not as good as the 60s, I mean, as the 70s, 60s, or even 80s. It was different because, uh, you still had the shadows of, um, the remnants of uh, Silence of the Lambs, and you had Seven, which were such a big influence on Community, and Scream. And as big as these influences were, it did change the industry a lot. We did have a lot of independent films, a lot of introspective films. So where does Tales from the Crypt Demon Knight fit in? Candy. It fits into candy. This movie is fun. Now, um, I kind of bring that up because... I showed it to my family, I was probably about maybe 15 years old when this movie came out, maybe 16. And my father compared it with Jurassic Park. Pretty bold, pretty bold claim. Now um, it comes from the anthology series Tales from the Crypt, which uh, was handled by Richard Donner, um, Joel, Sh uh, Joel Silver, uh, Richard Donner, a large, large cast of classic, um, classic horror guys. Now, um, the TV sheer, uh, this is not the best Tales from the Crypt story. In fact, it's a very, it's a very pulpish action story. Very action-packed, very intense. In fact, it's not very scary. It's pretty average scares. It's a roller coaster ride. It's a really good roller coaster ride. It's by the numbers. It's great. It's, it's amazing. Uh, I remember seeing this when it first came out. I was super hyped, super excited. Because I'm a big fan of Tales from the Crypt. Now, um, like I said, Tales from the Crypt, the show, had a lot of interesting ideas and interesting themes, and I feel like a one-off story is a lot better than Demon Knight. Demon Knight wasn't... But then Demon Knight's not trying to be the end-all, be-all example of everything Tales from the Crypt. In fact, it's trying to be a really good, pulpish action kind of movie, almost like a comic book come to life. And it does. It does it really, really well with its casting, with its effects, which its style. The director is Ernest Dickerson, who later went off to make Bones, the Snoop Dogg horror film with Pam Greer. And um, you know, I I want to give him a lot of credit. I I think this is, you know, he he probably has done a lot better before, but you know, this is really, really great. I think like to me, like in my opinion, this is like more of an '80s film, like Fright Night or. Just one of those films that you just have fun watching. You know, it's not... It, it, like I said, the best comparison is candy. It, but but not in a bad way. I mean, sometimes candy can make you sick. If you have too much. Or diabetes. Um, here we've got... Um, what's really, really awesome about this film is, like, when it came out, nobody knew Billy Zane. Nobody knew Jada Pinkett... Jada Pinkett... I was just about to say Jada Pinkett Smith. <laughs> and this is before her. Um, you know, uh, William Sadler, mostly pulpish action kind of films. A lot of the cast in this movie is just like, nobody's, oh, forgot Dick Miller <laughs> as Uncle Willie. That, that was a really good one, especially where, uh, he, he gets his own, like, demon moment. Yeah, no, this is a really, really fun movie. You gotta see it. Um, overall, just kind of, like, reminiscing about, like, I saw this two times when I on the opening day. I saw it like three times in the theaters. Never did buy the DVD of it. I kind of felt like 
This is really a fun film to watch with friends together. I, I can't watch it alone. I, I need people to see it with me. It's not up to par with... It's pretty... It's more... You know what I'm going to say? Um, I'm going to say more like... And I'm not saying this like degrading it or anything, but I, but I feel like it's a... It could have been PG-13, even though there's titties and uh, pretty cool gore. You know, it's like... I don't know. I really feel like this... This was like an all-encompassing kind of like fun film. Fright Night is a better example of like kind of like the tone and everything, and it stands out from uh, when it was came out. It was like uh, what year was it? 1995. Yeah, when 1995 came out, most of the horror movies back then were Scream. They were kind of this cynical, and this is not it. This is not cynical. This is really like a comic book come to life. Is it better than Creep Show? No, not really, but it's fun. It's a lot of fun, and there's nothing to be ashamed about that. I mean, uh, as the Crypt Keeper is just prone to just saying puns with everything, this is a killer. Go see it.